This segment of Domarva Life is brought to you by Tidal Health. It is the leading cause of amputations in the U.S. and in half the cases, there are no symptoms. Think about that for a second. Peripheral arterial disease, or PAD, affects up to 12 million people in this country. And that's why educating you, our viewer, on PAD is so important. With us this afternoon, we have Dr. Doug Wilhite. He is the medical director of the PAD, PAD PAD Rehabilitation Program and Division Chief of Vascular Surgery at Tidal Health Peninsula Region. Thank you, sir, for, for coming in and talk to us. Do me a favor, define PAD for me. What is it? Peripheral arterial disease simply is blockage or narrowing of the arteries of the body. And it can affect really anywhere from head to toe. You know, many of us are familiar with coronary artery disease right. when the small arteries on the heart are blocked. But there's also the arteries that supply the brain, the legs, the kidneys, and any of those arteries are also at risk of forming plaque. For a lot of people, the plaque is relatively mild and so there are no symptoms until it worsens. The most common symptom of PAD, of vascular disease or arterial disease, is something we call claudication, which is an old Latin word that means limp. Because what okay. happens is the muscles of the leg, they run out of blood flow when you try to walk. And so a patient with early form of PAD will find that their calf muscle cramps up after they walk a distance. They actually have to stop and wait for the blood flow to catch up and then they can walk again. So can, can we treat it? Very much so. The the biggest form of treatment for PAD is actually prevention and health maintenance. Tobacco is the leading cause of PAD, but it is a reversible cause. It's something that you can actually work on making better. Beyond smoking cessation, walking exercise is the most common treatment I'll prescribe. And then there's some very simple medications that we do use to help reduce risk factors in PAD, and that's aspirin, mm -hmm. over-the-counter and cheap. And a lot of times we'll also prescribe a statin, a cholesterol medication, not necessarily to reduce cholesterol levels. That's one of the goals of therapy. But an important additional effect of the statin medications is that they stabilize plaque. A patient on a statin medication has less risk of having a stroke or a heart attack due to that anti-inflammatory effect that the statins provide. Okay. So when, when we're talking about PAD rehabilitation, what's involved in that? Yeah, that's a great new resource that Medicare has begun supporting in the last few years. You know, like I said, the, after tobacco cessation, the next step in PAD care is getting a patient to go for a walk. Right. And for a long time, historically, the only option that we had was to tell patients, hey, go home and walk a bunch. Now Medicare has helped support these supervised walking programs throughout the U.S. And we've started one here at Tidal Health through our outpatient cardiac rehab resource. A supervised walking program you visit the program three days a week. It's an hour long session. In that session, you have a physical therapist work with you to help guide walking on a treadmill to the point where you gain benefit from it. So the whole program lasts 12 weeks. And it's a really great opportunity for patients. Get out and walk. That's absolutely right. Get out and walk. Every day. Dr. Doug Wilhite, thank you so much for talking to us this afternoon. It's great, great to have you.